I like to point out that was a pretty cool bridge. Yes, Peter Hastings special. Uh, so I think it's about time to hand you the controller. So let's do that. All right. Uh, I think we're approaching the arenas. There's a there's a combat segment before you get to the arena though that you have to go through. You have to go through that you'll love going through because it is the greatest experience ever. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. This has got to get fixed before you know, anything else happens. Maybe next time we can fix it in the. Uh, 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 I think you want left, right, reverse, though. No, I don't. I want it exactly you want that way. Like, no, I. This is so confusing because you undid this. Yeah, I, I just changed up, down. No, you changed left, right. You know what? So everybody, email Tony. Tell the him video how will prove me right when we go back and watch this later. Are we going to do a commentary on the commentary? Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, and talk about how we'll do we'll do the director's commentary on our let's play, <laughs> and we'll have ourselves in the background. Yeah, uh, I think that that's uh, there's nothing narcissistic about that at all. Well, what we're doing right now is already fairly humble. Oh, uh, interesting factoid about this level: Peter Hastings took a lot of care to uh, he randomly scaled the enemies so they were all slightly different sizes in this level. And, and uh, the left-handed thing is also something that Insomniac pushed very hard, is that some enemies are left-handed. And uh, what, am I, what, what am I looking at? Slap machine. Oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, in addition to the random scale, there's also left-handed enemies. And it's it was a big deal. And it, uh, it was just sort of to make them not all feel the same. Yeah, I mean, make the world feel alive, make the world feel differently. What was interesting, though, is I remember Peter spent a bunch of time and energy putting in the scaling thing. And he got a bug saying, oh, not all enemies are the same size. And he walked over to my desk and just hung his head and he was just like, <laughs> oh, Mike, Mike, what am I going to do? Now, I think these can give you a pretty good jackpot. I don't want to stand in front of here and just play the slot machine all day. But if you get three explodies in a row, then it explodes. Oh, you're going to get nanotech. I got the ammo, a little bit of ammo. Oh, okay. That's a nice little thing. Yeah. Nice little touch. Reward the player who just wants to sit in front of the slot machine. I think all day. if you shoot it with a weapon, uh, it blows up too. No. Uh, like use the bomb. Grab the bomb. Hey, look yeah. at that. Look at that. That's it's the, the little touches. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, Greg. Greg the programmer, not uh, Super Greg Phillips. Our, uh, uh, I forget exactly what type of producer he was at the time. But now he is the, like the big show producer on all the uh, Ratchet and, and some of type stuff. I'm like, I need to be using the Lancer. You didn't use the Lancer enough. You still got upgrades to do on this. Thing. I'm sorry. It's my fault. That's the other part that's wonderful about this. We can critique each other's play styles in Ratchet and I was going to let some of your stuff slip, but now I'm going to have to tell you how shitty you are. <laughs> I like these limos. They were a good break from the taxis. Yeah, which we haven't seen in this game. Yeah, we keep saying we keep saying, oh, it's a nice replacement for the taxi, even though we've seen zero of them. This is another dinosaur of uh, Ratchet and Clank design ledge traversals. Yeah, uh, riveting. I think that was right right here, probably the hottest ten seconds. Of I'm this having entire, a good yeah. time. Uh, but they just don't they don't do those. Oh, that was a pick. <laughs> yeah, it was. I was going to say, um, acting, uh, it's hard to tell, there's another pit coming up ahead, but one of the uh, uh, one of the rules that we actually came across later on was you either have to space the pits far apart enough that they, uh, they look like pits, or you have to uh, you know, raise them up slightly, because uh, from this third person camera, you can't tell. It right. It's like black ground. I'm gonna use the uh, chopper. You know what? That's a pretty good idea. Well, I'm trying to upgrade the Lancer. No, I'm sticking with my Lancer. All right, all right. I gotta get this upgrade out of the way. You get like the twin spouts Lancer? Oh. Oh, but yeah. the Lancer has a max distance? I was just wasting ammo. What was I thinking? Let me cycle around and hit the guys. And... Oh, yeah, there's a, there's a, a, a spawn, that ship spawns guys. Uh, yeah, I think. You don't have to kill the ship. But I can kill away. the ship, right? I, I think so. You might have to aim in first person. I might go up. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, nanotech to your left. Oh, 
but I just leveled up. That's even better. I think it's out. Oh, oh! Wasted ammo, too. Ah, the Lancer ammo. Thanks to the arms system. Oh, oh, wait, there's a little bolt there's a thing, there. A thing not a lot of people know about this game, but the, uh, the contents of the crates, in most cases, are not predetermined. Yeah. Um, it basically figures out the last couple weapons that you were using and what you're lowest on and does a bunch of calculations and then gives you the ammo that it thinks you need. Like, I think it gives you, uh, it'll spit out two ammos, and one of them will be for the weapon you're lowest on, and one of them will be for the last weapon you used or whatever you have equipped or something like that. So it was sort of a dynamic system for figuring out ammo placements. Oh, first wall jumps. By jumping toward yep, wall yep. And pressing X again as you hit it. Wow. Hey, wall jumps are fun. I like wall jumps. I'm just saying, wow. Why do, you, why do you always have to think I'm being sarcastic? You know what? I'm just I'm just pointing out that I'm having a great time. Accurately. Press and hold L1. But she's even doing the GLaDOS voice. All we need is... You know what's a bit weird is that they haven't actually taught you about straight. Uh, it's here. You have it. But we don't have any help messages for it. I, I think they're, they come later. And, uh... uh I think but I mean, the combat, the combat sections are starting to ratchet up in difficulty. Yeah, that's I true. Mean, we're starting to really... I remember there's a lot on, on level six, level 16, I forget which level that was, but that was the first huge difficulty spike in the game. Uh, and we put strafing messages in there. I, I, in in uh, Up Your Arsenal, we teach you about strafing in level zero. Because we had such a hard time getting people to do it. I guess because we didn't teach it. Yeah, because I remember it was a big deal that uh, the game becomes so much easier once you're strafing. And uh, that was a big problem with the difficulty. We were like, the game's not really that hard if we could just teach people to strafe. We, uh, uh, this, this room is another example of some design no-nos that we learned from this game going forward. Uh, is the, whenever you have a round room like this, you have to have a moat surrounding it because the camera hangs out behind you. And when you, when you strafe around inside of a round room, the camera gets all messed up. Which was why it was so hard for me to aim at the enemies. So in There we go. Yeah. Oh, look at that fire. Look at look at that how fast the fire is. You know, it's a two-handed weapon too. Right, now we can move on. See, this is the way you're supposed to play Ratchet and Clank. Upgrade a weapon, move on to the next weapon. And now that, that all of a sudden is your favorite weapon. I thought they really protected that in the third one. I'm uh, sorry, the uh, not the third one, the uh, PlayStation 3 one, like it was sort of yes. the first uh, tools of construction, I think. I was really impressed by, uh, and, and that's one we didn't work on, so this is maybe the first time in this whole show that we're talking, you know, well about something we didn't <laughs> We didn't do. do. Yeah. Not, it was us not saying that we're the best. Uh, and you know what? And between arena rounds, they don't refill your ammo in this game. But I think we do have a vendor in the arena, but I may there be is wrong. A, there is a vendor in the arena, but you have to go and refill all your ammo. I'm ready. Introducing from nowhere in particular. You know, I really love the arena announcer that we got. Yeah. He's a he's got a great voice for arena. He, he sounds like he should be at a monster truck rally. Yeah. Which is really, you know, right on. Oh the electrolyzer, that's me. Is that you? Once we get the electrolyzer, uh, I'll have to go play the first electrolyzer puzzle. Did we go straight into the electrolyzer puzzle, or because I mean, um, right after? The, I the think it's in the next level, right? Um, no, there's one here. Uh